This tutorial is to discuss about nested if else statement used in Python language and we will see an example for that to find the largest among three numbers using nested if else statement. An if or else statements block can contain any other type of Python statement that implies that it can also include other if statements. An if statement if we put inside another if or else block of statements then it is known as a nested if else statement. Now we can see an example for a nested if else statement. In the first if block, we have included another if else statement. In the example, if the expression 1 results in true, it goes inside the body of the if block. Inside the body of the if block, we have written another if else statement with the expression 2. Thus, it is known as a nested if statement. If expression 1 is true, the block of statement part of the first if block will be executed, which in turn consists of another if else statement. So, it is an example for nested if else statement. Let us see a Python program to accept a number and display that it is a positive, negative or zero using nested if else statement. By using an input method, we first accept a number from the user, it get typecast into an integer and get stored into the variable n. By using an if statement, we check the conditions that the number is greater than or equal to 0. Now inside the if block, we again check that the number is equal to 0. Then we print that it is as 0 what we have entered. In the else block of that, we print that the number is a positive number because in the first conditions we have checked that the number n is greater than or equal to 0. So number can be either equal to 0 or it can be a positive number. In the final else block, we print that it is a negative number. Because the first conditions, if the first conditions is false, then n will be less than 0. That means it is a negative number. So this program is an example for nested if else statement. Because in the first if block, we have included another if else statement block. Execute and see the program output of this. During the execution, if we enter the number as 10, it shows that it is a positive number. If we enter this minus 3, it shows that it's a negative number. If we enter as 0, it shows that it is 0. Let us see another Python program to find the largest among three numbers using nested if else statement. Consider three numbers as A, B and C. First we check the conditions that A and B like A is greater than or equal to B. If this condition is true, the number A will be a greater number than B. Now number A is already a greater to B. Now we check that in the second conditions that the number A is greater than C. That means A is already greater than B and if A is greater than C also then we can see as per the sign of the symbols A is the largest number. Assume again in the second 
that A is already greater than B and the second part like the conditions between A and C. C is greater than A, the else part. Now as for the sign of the simple, we can see that C is a larger number. Now when the first conditions, the conditions between A and B uh, become false, that is A is not greater than B, that means A less than B. When A is less than B, B is already a greater number than A. So we check the conditions B with C, that B is greater than or equal to C. In the third line, B is greater than A also and B is greater than C also then the number b is a larger number. In the else part, as per the sign of the symbol, b is more than a and c is more than b. Thus, c is the larger number. By using an input method and by typecasting into an integer, we take three numbers from the user and get stored into three different variables named a, b and c. In the first condition, we compare the number between A and B that A is greater than or equal to B. Now when the condition A greater than B is true, we check that A is also greater than C. Now if A is greater than B and if A is greater than C, then we can print that the larger number is A. The larger number we store inside a variable which is named as large. Else, that means C is greater than A. So if C is greater than A, we can see the larger number will become C. That means A is already greater than B and C is more than A. The larger number becomes the C. Now else part that means A is less than B. That is B is a greater number. We check the conditions that B is also greater than C. If B is also greater than C, the larger number will become B. And otherwise, in the else block, if B is less than C, the greater number will become C. So, the greater number is stored inside a variable which is named as large. Once all the condition checking is over, by using a print statement, we print the largest number. which is stored inside the variable large. Execute and see the program output.
Thank you for watching this video.